the serum meningitis takes place in the college dorm via respiratory droplets. It's gram-negative, and remember that it's diplococci and inhibits the MAC complex, and it ferments maltose. It's found via the nasal cavities, okay, and there's vaccines for this meningitis. It's from A, C, and D polysaccharide capsules, but not B, all right? The capsule is the main virulence factor, okay, and sickle cell disease is more susceptible to Neisseria meningitis. Also, the LOS or lipo-oligosaccharide proteins are involved. It's like LPS, but this is the serious version, okay, and it will lead to massive inflammatory response when active. Now, there's going to be leakage of interstitial fluid called hypovolemia. And there's also petechial rash, as you can see on the, the student's boxer. And the vasoconstriction can go reach maximum capacity by what is called the Waterhouse Fritter Syndrome. There's a 15% mortality rate, so this is pretty deadly. The treatment options are septriaxone or rifampin.